As NASA officially reports, we are on the verge of historical revelation. Thanks to James Webb Space Telescope, in a few days we might get answers to how Earth formed, how the universe was created, and much more. Scientists all around the world are excited, and they have great reason for it. After 25 years of preparation and over 10 billion spent US dollars, everyone is expecting full-colored pictures from the James Webb Telescope that will change everything. So, let's explain it from the beginning. On Christmas Day 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope was launched into space by a European Ariane 5 rocket. Webb had to be folded up and crammed into the rocket's fairing before being deployed step by step in the first two weeks of its mission. The telescope has now taken exceptional pictures of an ordinary star as a test of its abilities after completing the self-assembly of its 18-segmented main mirror. HD 84406 is 100 times dimmer than what can be seen by the naked eye. The star itself isn't remarkable, but the spray of tiny dots scattered across the background is. These are not accurate representations of the final product. Instead, they're engineering photos meant to test how well the many pieces of this technical wonder function together. The $10 billion James Webb Telescope is staggeringly complicated in structure, and the stakes are high. While the Hubble Telescope orbits Earth within our reach to repair, James Webb is 3,000 times further away from the Earth and orbits the Sun. While this opens up the universe to us in a way that was previously unimaginable, it also eliminates our ability to make improvements or repairs if something goes wrong. The pressure to ensure that each and every component of the telescope was flawless before launching it into space resulted in a slew of delays. It's positive news that, since the launch in December 2021, every phase of deployment has gone without a hitch. The primary mirror of the telescope is 6.5 meters wide and made up of 18 hexagonal parts that self-assembled in space. The precision with which each of these segments must be aligned to produce a single, smooth reflecting surface is measured in nanometers. Until now, there has been no way to confirm how well the process has unfolded, and the wait for these first images has been a nervous one. Almost tangible joy emanates from this magnificent painting. We've been planning for this moment for decades, and it's difficult to believe it's finally here, says Paul Hertz, director of NASA's Astrophysics Division. This is why we do what we do, to discover things that have never been seen before. The star known to astronomers as 2 mass J17554042 plus 6551277 is not particularly unusual. It's a nice bright star to be sure, about 16 times brighter than the Sun, and it's reasonably close by astronomical standards, approximately 2,000 light years distant. However, it's just one of about 400 billion stars in the Milky Way, and until recently, no one paid it much attention. But now, 2 mass J17554042 plus 6551277 star has become the most famous star in astronomy outside of our own sun. According to NASA, Inverse, and others, Webb used a red filter to boost the star's brightness for this shot, allowing him to see not only the stellar subject, but also stars and galaxies in the background. The effort to obtain the photo was considerable. The Webb's 6.5 meter, 21 feet 4 inch diameter mirror is controlled by actuators that allow them to shift in seven axes. Because of this, the images captured by each segment function as their own individual mirror, that is, rather than capturing 18 hazy pictures of a single body, they would capture one spectacular image. Ground controllers have spent months aligning the segments to within billionths of a meter or nanometers of one another. When the mirrors had completed what NASA terms the fine facing portion of their alignment, the image of 2 mass J17554042 plus 6551277 was taken. That is right around the final focusing stage, but it's not quite there yet. While the mirror segments are being fine-tuned, the mirrors will continue to be worked on in order to achieve precision. The primary mirror, for example, is expected to take 30 months to complete. That's a long time, much longer than I expected. Only after 25 years of planning will a facility that has been in the making for the past quarter century be ready to function. In addition, NASA released a selfie picture of the observatory's primary mirror taken with a special lens that assists with the alignment procedure. These images will allow us to peer back in time and capture galaxies from the early days of our universe, just a hundred million years after it all started. 
potentially changing our understanding of galaxy formation and evolution. A few days ago, NASA released an official statement that everyone has been waiting for. The European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency will provide the first full-color pictures and spectroscope data from NASA's James Webb Telescope during a live television transmission scheduled to begin at 10.30 a.m. on Tuesday, July 12th from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. Over the next several months, these first images from Webb's largest and most powerful space telescope will demonstrate the observatory at full strength, prepared to begin its quest to reveal the infrared universe. On this page, each photograph will be accessible to the public on social media, as well as on the firm's website. Prior to their general availability, Webb's first pictures will not be available under any circumstances. These pictures are a result of efforts to adjust James Webb's instruments to space and aligning the Space Telescope's mirrors in order to view the universe. It was reported at a press conference that the first official images of JWST have moved many NASA professionals to tears, according to preliminary reports. What I have seen moved me as a scientist, as an engineer, and as a human being, says NASA Deputy Administrator Pam Melroy. As we near the end of preparing the Observatory for Science, we are on the precipice of an incredibly exciting period of discovery about our universe, says Eric Smith, Webb Program Scientist at NASA Headquarters in Washington. The James Webb Space Telescope will generate full-color pictures to show what it can do, but the Space Telescope will also be collecting spectroscopic data, which allows scientists to obtain information about their target by analyzing light. There are still many months of testing and calibrating ahead, but once the first pictures are taken and released, the important scientific findings will begin. It's been a long road for the James Webb Space Telescope and its scientists, but it appears we're about to discover what it's capable of. If JWST succeeds in living up to the expectations, we will be entering a new era in astronomy and solving some of the universe's most difficult mysteries. Webb's capacity to capture the infrared spectrum enables it to identify even tiny molecules in an exoplanet's atmosphere, suggesting that Webb may reveal a deeper understanding of different planets' potential for life. The JWST's fuel reserves have also been verified by NASA, which has said that its predictions for Webb's energy capabilities were correct. This will not only give us the ability to go further back in history and time, but it will also allow us to study and develop as scientists, NASA Deputy Administrator Pam Elroy added. That's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.